Hi, in the previous video, you learned about financial planning and how important planning is to help achieve your financial goals. We talked about the need to create a budget for you to get an overview of your finances and how to reach your goals. To create a good budget, you need to calculate the amount of money you earn and how much you spend on your needs and wants. In this video, you will learn about an important pillar of the budget, your income. Everybody needs an income to meet her or his basic needs and to be able to pay for unexpected needs and additional wants. After going through this video, you should be able to identify and define your income sources. Some of these sources could provide a regular income every day, every week or every month. But some income sources can be irregular and only paid during a certain period or season of the year. So what is income? It is the total sum of all your earnings at a given time. Your budget should include all your sources of income. Here are the most common types of income. 1. Salary. This is money that you receive for doing a particular job. The salary can be paid as a fixed sum, could depend on your performance, or be a mix of both. 2. Sale of goods and services. It is important that all sales are recorded as income. For example, a woman farmer who sells eggs and fruits at the market needs to calculate the total amount of money received for all the eggs and fruits that she has sold. 3. Rental income. You may have bought a car or a house that you are now renting out and for which you receive a steady flow of money. 4. Remittances. People who work away from home often send a part of their incomes to their families back home. These are generally referred to as remittances. 5. Gifts and rewards from family members or friends. Remember to treat all your gifts in monetary form as an income. 6. Profits from investments. Some people buy property with the hope that its value will increase over time. People also buy bonds or stocks to generate profits in the future. This will be explained in a later course. The profit from selling the property or investment at a higher price is also an income. 7. Irregular income. You may receive an income on an irregular basis, such as during certain seasons of the year, such as during harvest time. It is important that these incomes are included in your budget. We will now explain through a real life situation how you can capture these irregular incomes in your monthly budget. A woman entrepreneur takes advantage of certain seasons to sell her wooden handicrafts and embroidered wool hats. Every time she goes out to sell these products, she receives $12 for her handicrafts and $30 for her hats. She sells her handicrafts twice a year and the hats four times a year to the airport souvenir shop. Her total income is $24 for the souvenirs and $120 for the hats. In all, her total income is $144. Now, she needs to budget for this income in her monthly budget. To do so, she takes the total income and divides it by the number of months in a year, which is 12. So her monthly income for the souvenirs are $2 per month and for the hats $10 per month, a total of $12 per month. You can use this same method for irregular remittance transfers or gifts from your family. These irregular incomes can now be reflected in your budget together with other monthly incomes. We hope that you have understood the elements of this module. In the next video, you will learn about common types of household expenses and how to classify them. Thank you.